Hey weirdos, so today it's April 20th, Friday. It's my last exam and then after that I'm done. I just need to submit my independent study and then I'm done. So it's currently 6 a.m. I'm drinking my water with lemon and um, I just started studying for my chemistry final tonight which is at 6.30 to 9 p.m. I won't be really stressed tonight at the exam so I'll bring you along to see the gym and be prepared for your final, your first final because I was super stressed and super impressed by the gym with that many tables so I'll bring you along and yeah it'll be fun um, I'm still studying, trying but I don't feel the pressure so I'm not really going very fast um, I did half of what I'm supposed to study for tonight and it's currently 2 p.m. my exam is at 6 so I still have some time to catch up I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do everything like I make my calculation to see how much I'll need to pass because I have this elective in a pass fail which I highly recommend you because it takes a huge relief on the pressure uh, and you can focus on other classes so if you have the opportunity to do pass fail classes just do it um, with the good grades that I had for the two midterms, I only need like 5%, um, minimum of 5% for this exam, so I'm like, pfft, okay, whatever. So yeah, I'll continue studying, but the thing is that this course is all about food, so they keep showing us pictures of food, and there's a chapter about chocolate, and I'm just stress eating, and it's really not helping because I keep wanting to eat chocolate now, it's the worst Ugh, don't show us food, just talk about it. But there's like image of steaks, even though I don't eat meat, like red meat, but there's like chicken and everything, chocolate, bread. And I'm like, what are you doing to us? We're all gonna be obese at the end of this class, my god. So I'm just gonna quickly make a coffee, go back in bed and finish my YouTube video, get ready. And then go crush that last exam and I'll bring you along for sure. I'm just waiting for my water to boil. I just realized that I should not move around too much and show you around too much because my house, my apartment is so disgusting. I'm embarrassed. So I should stay still instead of walking around and showing you all my mess. But that's part of the student life, you know, having a disgusting, messy apartment. And then after the final's all done, whoosh, everything is clean. And the magic cup reveals a message. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I don't know if some of you watched the 100, but Klexa forever. Forever. Klexa was the ship of my life. And when that ship sank, I was depressed for a month. True story. That's how I prepare for a final exam. Coffee and Shakira. Yeah, there's nothing better to put you in like to energize you than a good song, you know. Okay, I'm showing you around again. No, it's disgusting. Okay. I'm just gonna finish my coffee, dance around a little bit more, and then go. Okay, so something else that I do before my exam is prepare my pencils because I love to have sharp pencils because it's a multiple choice. But yeah, it's a bit therapeutic, it keeps me calm. So my, my friends also just texted me telling me that she's already at the gym. She's like an hour early, so she's even worse than me. Um, I told her I'll get there soon, as soon as I'm done sharpening my pencils. So I'm the type of person who loves, not loves, but I don't love it. It's so stressful, but I, the type of, I'm the type of person who scram study, like study at the last minute because I need that, that level of stress to be able to be motivated and to retain information. Otherwise, I'm just like... Oh, whatever but when I have that rush of stress at the last moment this is when I study the best so I spent all day today studying with some breaks in between for uh, <laughs> watching YouTube 
uh, but I don't have that high amount of stress for this exam because uh, I told you it's a, a pass fail for me and it's an elective so I did really well for the two midterms so I basically don't have to do this test but the professor warned us that the people who do it pass fail and who got a high score enough and don't show up they don't pass so I at least have to go but I really want to do my best so I not I, I just I don't want to go there just to be there I want to do my best and it's my last exam at McGill I really want to give it all you know so I studied all day today I danced around for a bit on Shakira drinking my coffee I sharpened my pencils and now I'm gonna go also tie your hair I feel like it's better sharpen your pen uh, what else can I tell oh bring your McGill ID that would be the stupidest thing if you forget to bring your McGill ID because they check so just bring it for any of your exam at McGill for that matter because they always check so just bring it and uh, bring your notes I don't know what else to say I'll bring you so that's something more that I have to think about but where if you ever have uh, an exam at the gym especially when it's winter and cold outside just wear a sweater or bring a sweater just in case it's cold because sometimes it can be get really cold at the gym because there's no big heater and it's always a huge huge room like hey so I'm almost there also my friends texted me saying that it was my last day as a McGill undergraduate and, I, and it just hit me that it's my, these are my last hours as a McGill undergraduate I feel so sad, but it's okay. It's exciting. can start oh my god I'm so excited I, I try to film but the people there was were really strict usually they're not that strict so I thought I'll be able to film a little bit more I try to hide my phone and my camera to be able to film a little bit for you but I hope it helped to see a little bit what the gym looks like so I'm just gonna enjoy my evening I'm free I'm done I'm no longer a McGill undergrad <laughs> my god i kind of forgot i'm not totally free yet i need to submit my uh, independent study don't look behind it's so disgusting uh, so i'm gonna do it now i'm just gonna reread it last one last time and then send it to my teacher and then i'm officially done so i'm done uh reading everything and i'm gonna send it <sighs> Uh, done. I'm free. I'm free. I'm officially free. Uh, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have any recommendations for future videos that you will want me to make, be my McGill or Montreal, I have some ideas already. But if you have any requests, just leave a comment in the comment section because now I have all the time in the world. I have nothing to do. So just leave a comment in the comment section. I always love to read your comments and please show some support and subscribe so yeah subscribe and uh, see you soon bye